Hey y'all. How y'all doing on this Saturday? Yes, it's Saturday evening, honey. It's after 12, so it's after afternoon, and now it's after evening. 7.20, y'all, the exact time. How y'all doing? Y'all, I enjoyed um, today. It was cold, though. Oh, God, it was cold. You know, down here in South Carolina, Boiling Springs. I hope everyone having a great day. Hey, Kiki, how are you, girl? Thank you so much for joining, y'all. You're listening to my air, and you're watching my air. I'm your host, Tracy Etheridge, y'all. That's me. I'm the one and the only Tracy Etheridge, y'all, on this Saturday. Oh, Lord, it was cold out there today, y'all. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to go out there, y'all. I had my little overalls, and... And I was draped um, in um, Louis Vuitton signature, LV Louis um, signature, um, Louis Vuitton. And yeah, I was draped. I was draped. And um, from head to down to the sneakers. But um, I thought I was going to go out there, y'all being cute, without no jacket on, <laughs> without no hat on. Honey, I was trying to show, show, show. Whew, but girl, y'all. <laughs> I got out there. To, I opened up that door, and Jack Frost said, "Get back, get back!" And then put on something, y'all. I had to end up put on a hat. I ended up putting on dang on coat. Uh, man, it was so cold, it was so windy. Hey, Sean, how are you? I'm waving, I'm waving. But thank y'all so much. Um, I tell you, I am just chilling tonight here at the crib, y'all. I got um. I got to the next Thursday that I ain't got to be back to work. So, y'all know I am, like, chilling, chillis, chillixin. Is that a word, y'all? Chillixin, Ch chillixin, chillixin. But, y'all, I don't have to be back. So, I am just chilling at the crib, y'all. What's wrong with my earring? Y'all, I thought my earring. But, y'all, what did y'all do today? I just, y'all, I didn't do anything. I First of all, I slept until about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. And then once I got up, y'all, I ended up putting on some clothes. Y'all know I had to, you know, I had to get, you know, I had to get suited and booted. If, especially because I was going out. Hey, Britt, Britt, what's up, girl? Did you get your purse? You didn't tell me. Did you get your purse? Let me know. Did you like it? Let me know. But, um... Y'all, I just, I, I'm telling you, I didn't do absolutely nothing. Um, I went to my favorite place. Yes, y'all already know, Walmart. Yes, I am tr a true Walmart fan. So I was in Walmart just walking around, you know, brisking around because I really didn't have, you know, anything to pr uh, particularly get. Um, but um, I just strolled around Walmart. Just for me to do something, cause um I've been in the house all day. Um, but I'm here. I'm chilling. Um, y'all know pandemic is still here. The COVID is still here. It's affecting a lot of lives. Pe people that is close to you. Um, people that is um is um affected by it but don't know they're affected by it because they don't have any symptoms so please i you know urge you to be mindful to wear y'all wear a mask please wear your mask hey um social distance yourselves i mean it still is in effect six feet um also y'all make sure make sure you washing your hands 20 seconds also you know disinfecting your surfaces please but y'all know my one and only my last my, my my main thing that i tell everyone to please boost 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 up your immune system please boost your immune system up take some elderberry some uh sea moss um, some multivitamin, even if just a multivitamin with some vitamin C would definitely help your immune system. Um, because you, what you want to do, y'all, y'all want to, you want to enhance, you want to boost your, your immune system up in order to fight off any viruses, any common, common 
um, cold, um, anything that got, that tries to get inside your body to target your organs. And that's what the virus is doing. It is targeting, it is, um, hindering the, um, the breathing, um, your respiratory system, your, also your lungs, all of that, um, is creating a barrier, which is your immune system in order to protect your organs of your body. So please try to get you on some type of um multivitamin they have multivitamin for women they have multivitamin for men um they also have just a multivitamin um if you I, I know a lot of people don't like to um take um pills but now y'all they have multivitamin that's gummies that you can just you know you can chew on and it'll dissolve in your mouth so there is no excuse why you do have have not have not started a multivitamin to in to in induce and in in um boost up your immune system um I just like I said, elderberry, sea moss, vitamin D, vitamin E. Y'all know the vitamin D is coming from the sun. Well, sometimes you don't have a whole lot of sun to to contract that vitamin D. So they have the pills that you can take, y'all. They have the um the soft gel pills that you can take. Um uh, you know, for um, a daily supplement for your immune system, please, y'all definitely has to get aboard on this immune system boosting. Hey, 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 uh, Deborah Trees, how are you, girl? Sanjia and Queen, hey, girl. Thank you so much for joining me. I am, I'm just, hey, I'm just popping on just a little bit just to, you know, just to give you some insight on what I'm feeling about this coronavirus, y'all. It's people out here being affected that you would have never thought that they would be affected or never thought that they would be, you know, in the predicament that they're in. Um, it definitely, the, the um, virus is, uh, is, is, um, um, doing people differently than they than they do if it was me or you so you have to take it upon yourself y'all and protect yourselves protect yourselves um boosting up that immune system um taking those you know drinking those hot teas hot coffees anything that's hot also um me and my best friend zonda hey girl how are you my best friend was um talking today about um you know your sleep pattern making sure that the that you're not sleeping on your back not sleeping on your back because if you sleeping on your back that in that 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 takes a a, a a toll on your lungs from opening up so try to sleep on your side and the best way um to sleep is on your stomach but that is like a that's like a really uncomfortable feeling to try to sleep on your stomach, especially, okay, if you got a, a pooper like me. I mean, I got a stomach. And if I sleep on my bed, if I sleep on my stomach, y'all, it going to hinder me from breathing. Um, And, and I can't do that. I, I, I'm, I'm, my lungs will be open. But but I, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard because I'm gonna have a lump. I'm gonna have a lump. So I, I I can't sleep on my stomach. Now I'm gonna try my best to sleep on my side. But y'all y'all know my personally I love sleeping on my back. I don't know. It's just something comfortable about sleeping on my back. But it definitely allows me to snore. I'm sorry. I snore, y'all. I snore. I do. And I know this, y'all. I snore when I'm on my back. I'm on my back. So I try my best to try to stay on my side. I be trying to stay on my side. But once I get to that other, when I get to the land of dreaming and the land of sleeping and my out of my, my, my inner self goes into la la land. I don't have no control. I don't have no control. So whether you, you know, enjoy sleeping on your back, whether you enjoy sleeping on your side, or, or if you can sleep on your stomach, 
please do so. Try not to sleep on your back. Um, that is a hard, um, uh, it's hard for your lungs to expand when you're sleeping on your backs and everything also settles, um, down, um, in your throat and, you know, if you're sleeping on your back. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to offset you know and i wish y'all you know what i wish i knew what i know now i wish i knew um when my father was in in the hospital um battling covid 19 i would have told the nurse i would have told the the hospital to keep to take my father off his back because i know y'all i watched my father my stepfather i watched him stay on his back on a ventilator and I wish I knew then what I know now that I would have told them to turn him. I would have told them to turn him. But, you know, you live and learn. And you, um, so if I'm learning, I would definitely, I love to share. I love to share. But, um, y'all, I tell you, this, 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 this world and the things that's going on in the world, please, y'all, don't let it hinder you. Don't let it get you down. Continue to pray. Continue to praise God for the things that he has done and the things that he's going to do in your life and in the world. Because y'all don't know, it does not fall on, it does not fall on death ears um, through God. God knows exactly what is going on. God knows what's going to, going to be going on. And he knows what's going to, on uh, what is going to happen in the past in the in the future um so you just continue to you know ask god to um protect you and and keep you on the path that he has for you and i i would tell you to keep your mind steadfast on him um, don't, you know, look at, you know, I, I don't look at the news, y'all. I, I, I refer, I refuse to look at all that mess. It's a lot going on, yes. And yes, you want to know, be in a know on what is, you know, going on from day to day, but it can take a, take a toll. Uh, it, it would, it would, it would take a toll out on the, um, an individual that has a weak mind or, or just, you know, believe everything that they hear um everything that we see in the news y'all is is it's a distraction it's a distraction so you have to depend on god depend on his word and know that you, that you know that he is who he says he is but um yeah i i tell you um it's a lot going on a lot going on um, I hope that you um, enjoy um, the what I what I bring forth the contents that I bring forth to you. Um, I I don't try, y'all. I wish I could go come on every day to um, to interact with you guys, uh, but you know I got a full time job. Now I probably can do it these days that I'm off, but once I go back, once I go back. Then I have to do the, I have to do something else. I have to do the, you know, the BMW parking lot pimping. And I know I, I, I get so many, you know, uh, thank you and, and, and compliments, um, about, about the, um, BMW parking lot pimping y'all that I'm telling you, they want me to do it every night, every night that I'm there, people want me to do it, do the parking, BMW parking lot pimping. And I tell you, I'm I'm gonna try, but I can't I can't promise. <laughs> hey Tammy, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me. I can't promise you I could do BMW parking lot baby. Even though y'all, it'd be a lot going on at BMW parking lot. Oh Lord. And I tell you, and honey, I be trying to see every little thing, every little thing. That's called nosy. That's called nosy. But it's all good. It's all good and fun. It's um all for fun and, and entertainment before um we go in to work. But y'all, I'm not gonna be for you guys long. I just wanted to pop on. I hope y'all enjoyed the outfit that I that I showed you guys today or what I was um I was rocking. Yes, because I'm true, true. I'm true to this. True to this. Um, very, very designer savvy, very designer chronicles right here, right here from head to toe, 
all the way down to the socks. Yes. But um, I love it. I love what I do, y'all. I love, you know, just um, giving um, you guys their content. So all of this craziness that's in the world, we need something. We need something to get our minds off of this craziness that's going on in the world. Hey, my sissy Patrice. Hey, girl. Hey, Larnell. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me on tonight. I'm not going to be on long. I just wanted to pop on, y'all. To tell you guys to continue to um, abide by the CDC guidelines about wearing your mask, um, um, washing your hands 20 seconds, hey, disinfecting your surfaces, you guys. Um, also, social distance, social distance yourself. Six feet. Somebody get behind you and you look back and you can you can feel you can feel they they breath, not their breath, but they breath with the F. Tell them six feet. Just how I said feet, six feet. <laughs> like my daddy, my daddy says he had to turn around to one of the guys at the store and say six feet, partner. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's very, very serious, you guys, that you have to uh, take take control over your your your. I'm telling your 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 being your. Um, survivor being to, uh, right now because um, this 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 corona y'all is 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 a is affecting a lot of people lives. People are still um, dying, y'all. We just surpassed four hundred thousand, and they already estimating y'all that ninety thousand people, additional people, will be will be dying from this coronavirus. Now you know it's 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 really sad when they're predicting death on so many lives. So, you know, I tell you, um y'all, um let's talk about this for this this um vaccine, this corona vaccine, Jesus. Well, y'all, I'm not ready to take the vaccine. No, I'm not. Uh, I think it's a little bit too early to take it. I, I want to see more and more people taking the vaccine so I can see how they react, y'all. I just don't want to be the one that actually take the vaccine and then I start talking and walking backwards. Uh, or I start, you know, barking like a dog and meowing like a cat. I just not ready. I'm just not ready. Now, if it's mandatory for everybody to take it, I'm still not ready. I'm still not taking it. But if the police come and tell me that I got, that they may take me to go to jail, that if I don't take it, then I'm going to say, where is the vaccine? Here's my arm. Just hurry up, take it, and get on out so I can, you know, pray. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What'd you say, Patrice? The one I last to build up. Ooh, Lord, honey. I, girl, I know, honey. Talking about um, Lucy and Lala. You know, with the, um, honey, she is the, Lucy and Lala is the eyelash queen. She is the one eyelash queen, honey. She is the queen of the, the, the baby hair and the swoop, swoop roller coaster eyelash to the right. I'm telling you, she'll trip. She'll trip. I'm, I may have her coming out the BMW one night just for her to see what I see. But um, it's I, I, it's going to be a trip. It's going to be a trip. <laughs> we will see. I might end up having her to come on, fly on down. Hey, Chip. Hey, boo. How are you? Thank you so much. Hey, Quentin. Thank you so much for joining me. I have several family members who have taken it. It already, already. Okay, Patrice, well, honey, girl, my mama done, um, she done put her date in. I think she do it on Thursday. No, Wednesday. She she takes hers on Wednesday. My mama is over 70 years old. She, she's taking hers on Wednesday. 
I, I'm just not ready, sis. I, I, I'm waiting until a little bit more people get it. And I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Um, But I, I, I'm just not ready yet, sis. I'm just not ready. Nah, if the popo come and say, I got to, got to take it, sis. I, I'm just going to say, you know what? I've been ready. Been ready. I'm going to tell I've been ready to take Where you been? I, yo, I've been waiting on you. <laughs> I'm just going to say, oh, Lord, they better not tell me if you don't take it, you going to go to jail. I'm going to say, honey, I've been sitting here waiting on you. I've been sitting here waiting on you. Where you been? Where you been? My arm been ready. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, but we will see. I tell you, um, because this, this, um, baby, sis, this coronavirus is really, really getting out of hand. Um, I, it's, it's, I mean, uh, people that I have no idea or wouldn't even thought that would be, you know, being affected by this coronavirus, and especially with my family being, a, being you know, was affected by in uh, back in April, with, which my stepfather had passed away from COVID-19. You know, it it really has taken a toll on a lot of family um, members, especially families that have been, you know, affected more than one or two times in the same family. So, um, the, I mean, it has been truly a, a, oh my God, it has truly been a lot of, um, worrying you know it's a lot of stress on families y'all i mean we have had families that was not prepared for death that came about in their families um it, it's just a lot you have to take control y'all we are living in the last days y'all um i want to you know I want to talk about, you know, you know, preparing. It's called life preparations. Life preparations is prepar preparing for the ine inevitable, you know, things that may happen. You have to be prepared, y'all. Your first thing that you need to have is life insurance. Let's talk about it. We let's talk about it. We got to talk about it. A lot of people don't like to talk about life insurance, preparing your 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 final days, preparing, helping your family. Because y'all, life insurance is a must. It's a must. Please, my my uh, melanin people, it's a must that you have life insurance on you, your 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 spouse, your children, your grandchildren. If if need be, you have to take control over your life and your family lives. Y'all, life insurance is the is a must. Is a must. Because especially with what's going on in this world, you don't know. You can be, y'all, we have, we have heard of people that have been having a great um, health his, history, you know, and um, today having a great history and tomorrow on their deathbed. You know, so you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. Investment, investment. That's another life preparation. You're, you want to invest in, if you don't invest in yourself, who will invest in you? If you don't believe in yourself, who will believe in you? You have to first believe in yourself in order for someone else to see that you believe in yourself and they will believe in you. I tell you, there is a lot of stressing going on. It's a lot of depression going on. It's a lot of suicidal thoughts that's going on right now. But please, y'all, look to God. Look to God. I'm telling you. Um, and you're right, COVID-19 truly is no joke. It is truly no joke. It is affecting a lot of people's lives. I cannot stress it enough that how important it is to to abide by these um, um, regulations and guidelines of this, you know, you can you can be standing by a person that don't have any type of symptoms of this coronavirus, y'all. And they can be asymptomatic by, from this coronavirus, not having any symptoms, but is a carrier of this virus, okay? 
if if A is a carrier of this virus but don't have any symptoms of this virus, but you have a and they have and they and 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 because they you know don't have any symptoms, that means their immune system is fighting fighting off this this virus. So you come along and stand next to this per this person. And your immune system, you ain't taking no vitamins. You ain't doing anything. You just, you, you, you eating whatever you want to eat. You, you, you're just not having that mindset to control what you eat and, 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 um, and be mindful of what you eat and be mindful of what you're taking into your body. Well, your immune system is low. Your immune system is just fighting, you know, fighting hard. You can get to, you can get, you can stand by this, um, asymptomatic symptomatic person that has that is a carrier of the COVID-19 or the coronavirus and you can stand by that person and because your immune system is low y'all you can catch it just like that and that and and how your body reacts versus the person that is asymptomatic can be uh, it can be a, a, a death a death sentence to you because your immune system does not have the ability to fight off this virus so i tell you please get you some multivitamins get you some cmos if you can order some cmos some um some um elderberry y'all vitamin d vitamin c um any type of um drink you hot teas you know hot hot coffees if you like um just something um i tell a lot of my um um people that that inbox me about um suggestions i tell them hey boil you some hot water with um some orange orange um um peelings and some lemon peelings and and you know, boil it in some water, some more water, and as that steam come up, hey, put your face over that steam and and just um, inhale that steam into your body. Inhale. If you can't do that, if you have a hot, if you have a um a a holding hair dryer, a uh, handheld air dry hair dryer. Honey, get it, put it on low heat, and and let that that heat of uh, uh, penetrate into your nostrils, in your mouth, and let that heat just penetrate into your body, down into your soul, into your 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 soul and your organs that's in your body. I'm telling you, y'all, it's very imperative that we um take on a regimen, a uh, everyday regimen for this virus. Um, you have to think about it. You have to think about it. You cannot go uh, on like it's normal because normal is not no more. We are not going to be normal anymore. You have to um, make it up in your mind to counter react to what's going on in this world. What you say, um, sis? Okay. Doing good. Missing hanging out with y'all, but everything is good. Awesome, chill. Yes, I have, honey. You know, I've been big by myself. Okay, your husband take it next week, um, Patrice. Okay, good. I know, um, Chip. I know. I saw that, and I've been praying for you. I've been praying for y'all recovery. I tell you, that's why I say it, it has been affecting a lot of family, um, more than one person in a family. So y'all, please, please, hey Marcel, my nephew, please, um. Take heed to what is going on. Hey, Tip Tip, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me. What you say, Patrice? COVID-19 truly is no joke. My cousin is still in the hospital since August of 28. Wow. He's lost his mom, dad, and first cousin. Wow. He's been in. Wow. Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, stories like that, things like that, situations like that, where a young man is already fighting for his life in the hospital and have already, y'all, have already lost his mom, his dad, and his first cousin, as, as uh, along with him fighting for his own life. So, you know, these are the stories that you're hearing um today about this coronavirus so you have to please please take heed to these 
um, these CDC guidelines from from this um, coronavirus and and do what you're supposed to do. But uh, y'all, I'm not gonna be for you. Y'all know I can be long winded. You know my my disclaimer is, you know I can say I'm not gonna be before you guys long, y'all. And honey, it'll be two three hours and I'll be still talking. But I'm not going to be for you guys long. I just wanted to pop on and hey, uh, parlay with you guys, let you guys know, you know, what, I, what I'm doing, what I'm chilling on this Saturday night. And also, you know, just talk a little bit about this coronavirus and how it's very important that you um, abide by the CDC guidelines and, and be mindful of what is going on in this world. So I'm not going to be for you guys long. Y'all have a great one. Love you guys. Continue to enjoy your weekend and I invite you again you know I have to say it I invite you invite you every Monday night at 9 o'clock p.m. on wdrbmedia.com listen to my air AIR with Tracy Etheridge y'all that's me I'm the one and the only Tracy Etheridge on WDRB Media the voice of the community the only station giving you double the information and is inspiration and entertainment <laughs> so y'all have a great one love you guys and again i say thank you all for the support that you guys are giving me have a great one y'all bye-bye